The third stage of the tour to Taiwan took place on Wednesday, a 154.5-kilometer route with views of rural Taiwan with a distinctly Hakka flair. Racers set off from Xinzhu High-Speed Rail Station and biked across Miaoli to finish up in Taizong. Winding roads made it a highly technical stage, but it was also an opportunity for racers to get acquainted with local Hakka culture. Wearing traditional Hakka garments and holding up oil paper umbrellas and fans, the performers break into dance. The Hakka Affairs Council brought these dancers here to cheer on the participants of the Tour de Taiwan. A group of young dancers also put on an exciting show. Holding up gigantic tongue blossoms and wearing outfits featuring Hakka flower patterns, the kids give it their all. Their efforts are to show the beauty of the third stage of the Round the Island Tour, called Taiwan Romantic Route 3. Today is the Taiwan Romantic Route 3 stage. All foreign participants agree that it was a very challenging stage. At the same time, its path has a lot of cultural elements. This third stage of the Tour de Taiwan was arranged by the Hakka Affairs Council in collaboration with Xinju County, Miaoli, and Taichung. The race kicked off at 9 a.m. on Tuesday from Xinju High Speed Rail Station and ended in Taichung Shigang Visitor Information Center. The stage was 154.5 kilometers long and is the only one in the tour that runs across several cities and counties. With its views of the beautiful countryside and with Hakka elements dotting the place, it was an opportunity for cyclists to experience the warmth of Hakka locals. The scenery along the route, I think, is better than that of the other stages. We're showing the beauty of Hakka villages to the whole world, offering our warmth to participants from every country. The Hakka Affairs Council brought together 15 towns, 22 middle and elementary schools, and more than 3,000 locals to put on rest stations with a Hakka flair. All for racers to enjoy the views of the third stage of the race while getting acquainted with the beauty of Hakka villages and their people.